Welcome to Streak Talk. I am your host, Jason, and this is for Sunday, August 17th. Quite the interesting prop the Streak Masters dreamed up is ad hoc time! Ad hocully. I'm sorry, that was embarrassing. That was a terrible joke. Please accept my apologies. Moving on, what we have. Total number of touchdowns and field goals or the tie scored in the Chiefs Panthers NFL game versus the total number of runs scored in the Braves A's Major League Baseball game. Sort of a tough one to wrap our mind around because it's like comparing apples and oranges. So here's what I did. I took the average number of scores of all the NFL games through the first week of the preseason and then through the second week of the preseason. Through the first week of the preseason teams were scoring an average of 1.8 times in the first quarter. That number was bumped up into the second week of the preseason to a little over 2, around 2.2. Now that's expected because the first team is going to play more snaps. For the A's and the Braves breakdown, I broke down both John Lester, the starting pitcher for the A's, and Mike Miner, starting pitcher for the Braves. I also broke down on average how many runs the A's score through the first three innings and how many runs the Braves score through the first three innings. Now Lester through his career has spent most of his time in the AL so his career numbers are a little bit more inflated than they are pitching in the National League. So this year alone Lester is averaging about a run for through the first three innings. Mike Miner however is averaging 1.78 runs through the first three innings. Now the Braves are averaging 1.43 runs scored through the first three innings and the A's are averaging 1.78 runs scored through the first three innings. So minor allowing 1.78 and the A's scoring 1.78 seems that that's a really good indicator as to how many runs the A's will score. Now the Braves average 1.43 Lester allows an average of one, so it's probably going to be somewhere in the middle of that, 1.2 or so. That, if you add those two numbers up, you're going to get around two, a little bit less than three, but close to three. Like I said, total number of scores in the average NFL game through the first two weeks of this preseason is a little bit over two. So while the sheep are obviously going to jump on the field goals and touchdowns because it has the tie it's gonna be a lot closer than that this one could go either way it's a 50 50 prop uh, as most of them are obviously in the street for the cash however we are going to say that the Braves and A's score more runs it's going we're gonna wolf it here it's a little bit dicey because of that tie we wouldn't risk it with anything above a probably 6 or 7 at this point, W6 or W7. But that's what we're going to go with. Going to wolf it. Take it easy. We'll see you next time on Streak Talk.